fit you got your fidget spinner? <laughs> so I got oh my gosh, you got a fidget spinner? What the heck? <laughs> you got I, one of those? You you Wow. I got I got A D D D D A D D D D D. I you know what you know what uh, I have been diagnosed with AD I can't remember the rest. <laughs> oh yeah, AD. He said he started. I don't know. I drifted off. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> we're we're on the show now, right? We are starting the show. Oh, uh, oh we're starting the like, show. We haven't started. Live. We are I was, live. I was diagnosed with it too. Yeah. We are oh, live cool. on the Agora. Oh, what channel are we on? I got to do some promo. promo. We're on the Agora. Oh, the live Agora. On the... Oh, just what you said, yeah. Yep. So I only listen to like every third word that you say in general. So that's why sometimes I miss things. That's smart. I find it keeps me from totally losing my ever loving mind. If I just limit it to one third, I get through the day. Mm -hmm. and, and that's that's the important thing. And how how many times do I have to sign up for notifications to my own page to just find the video right away? Oh, Angela, you a long time coming. Did anybody no. want to hear my number one song of the week? No. No? Why not? No. Because I said so. I, I mean, I'm not taking your order. I was just asking. But, I mean, since you want to put it that way. My, my my number one song is uh, it's by Blanche. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Carte it's, Blanche. It's, it's called City Lights. Ooh. I'm not alone here huh. in the city lights. City okay, lights. City lights. Hey, we have one person watching, and I'm gonna try to change People. that. I'm gonna try to get it up to two. I'm is gonna... it live right now? Yeah. Yeah, we're live. Oh damn. <laughs> So come on uh, down. You're the next contestant on the show. Who wants to be on the show? Well, you can't be on the show. Who wants to be on the Well, And they'll be great when people ask questions and probably people get hurt over borders and stuff like that. Oh, because it's all about <laughs> borders today, man. You guys, you guys want to talk it's borders? It's all about borders. It's all about yeah. the borders. All about the border, border. All about the border, border. All about the borders tonight. So I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking <laughs> that uh, I'm gonna be looking seriously into their the whole border argument. Um, <laughs> seriously, so that I can deconstruct it, and I can say uh, so. So I get into these debates with people, and their 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 critique is, "Well, did you hear them say that?" And I'm like, "Okay, okay." I'm going to go back. I'm going to go listen. I'm listening to Jared Howe on freaking radical agenda. I'm Holy listening shit. to that. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, we, we did a oh, little pre-recording and I actually defended Jared Howe. Wow. Oh, but it was on about blocking and stuff like that. It was about blocking <laughs> people. Yeah. Oh, he can block whoever he wants. I ain't, I ain't no oh, thing. of course. No, but what, 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 when people judge him for doing that, it's a sign of this uh, false self-importance that, like, he possibly needs your viewership or something. No, I, oh, I, I don't yeah. know. I, I, but I mean, clearly, he, clearly he doesn't. I also think that uh, there's nothing wrong with judging him for blocking. No, there's nothing wrong with judging. Ah. But I think I still think it's it's just whatever. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I think that the guy has blocked hundreds of people. It's like. He's like Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, it's kind of insane. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, he could be insane. That's his his choice. You know, that's fine. He can be insane. But if you're going to be insane, people are probably going to say, "Hey, dude, <laughs> you're insane." I mean, that's generally well, that's what true. happens. It's so yeah. You know, if if we're ah John John, we already have a question. John Smith. Nice. Border anarchists or closed border anarchists, nationalists with a god complex, basically. I'm not sure yeah. that's all that's all true for all of them, but I think that's true no. for many of uh, the ones that I've talked to, not, but not all of them. No. Some of them Well, they they have a, a they have there's innocent people who have certain ideas about borders and I can see certain points, but they don't see what was the root cause of certain situations that were that were created certain problems. Root, like right. root situations. Right. Yeah. Because we wouldn't have a border problem if we didn't have status problems creating wars or whatever. Well, we wouldn't. you wouldn't have a border problem if you don't have a border. 
<laughs> well, that, and then, yeah. you know, they've, they've shifted that term, border. Now they're terming it in. So when you when you say, well, there are no such things as border, so what about your land? Okay, you mean property lines? Property yeah. lines? The way I, you know, border has a connotation that property line doesn't have. Border has a statey von state based connotation. If if you say border to anyone within the context of land, it has the state of state based connotation. It's it's common use. Yeah, yeah. The, when when somebody says borders and they're talking about nations or immigrants or it's talk about borders, they're thinking of a nation state border, not your property border. And plus, par people don't call their their property line borders in reality. I never really heard that. I only heard, oh, I fenced it here, or this is my property line. Or right. something like that. I've never I, referred I, to my property lines as borders. No, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> but you do have a fence. Yes, I, I do. Yeah. but it's a you have a fence. You're 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 a very bad neighbor. I'm <laughs> I'm a very good neighbor because if I didn't have a fence and I went out and let my dog out, he would go out and he would eat things. It's almost oh, <laughs> shouldn't you know? You know what? I am I am protecting simple. people. I'm not keeping people out. I'm keeping dogs in. Oh, exactly. Although, that's, and, me too. and that's probably too. what's going to end up happening if you put up this wall. So that is a border. <laughs> yeah. Sure, why not? It is a border over another species. You're just a species. I'm absolutely oh, a shit. species. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm very elitist when it comes to the human race versus other species. Definitely. I've, 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 I'm unapologetically. I am a human supremacist. I am pro-alien. Adam, that's interesting. You know All what? If, if if they seem more and more uh, plausible, then I'll become pro, pro alien. I mean, hedge your bets. Actually, I'm going to say I'm pro alien now. Hedge your bets. Pascal's <laughs> wager. I mean, what do I got to lose if they don't exist? No problem. If they do exist, dude, I was, I was, I was all about the aliens. You know, at the yeah. very least, I'll have a quick, painless death. At the very least. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best you can ask for. That is when it comes to aliens. That probably is the. I mean, you. I mean, you could be surprised with more, but that's probably the best you could ask yeah. for. I mean, there's enough anal probing amongst the species to worry about. <laughs> I'm. I'm not pro anal probing, by the way. Just have you ever the crossed the border? I know you have. You I've have crossed definitely crossed border. that border, and uh, I've. Well, that border's been, yeah. <laughs> that border's been crossed. Uh, you know, thumbs like, up, thumbs I've up had, on that border being crossed. <laughs> I've had some illegals, yes. Yes, <laughs> in, in 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 areas of uh, non-strategic importance. Well, I guess to you they're probably strategically important. It's it, it's a strategically important exit. Yeah, it, it's, it, it it does tend to provide a, an alleviation of waste. So, and, and that's where the border was meant to uh, facilitate exiting and prevent entrancing. <laughs> right, oh, yeah. right, huh. and, well, and that that role was temporarily reversed. So, <laughs> so, so what is what is uh, Ty? I have I haven't I haven't even been able to sit and talk with you yet. I mean I'm I'm assuming I think I'm pretty fair at assuming that like me and I could be wrong, you're like I'm not having a border debate because that's a state issue and that's not a anarchy issue. Are are well, you are you debating for open borders or are you saying no. this is a stupid debate? Oh, I don't debate for open borders. I don't. I, I don't debate for borders. I debate for um, communities. But I don't. In my, I don't. People need to understand. Not even communities will have borders. Um, uh, well, when it's some, on smaller some, scales, some, some might. There will oh, be some walled some, off communities. Some, uh, area, I'm sure. some places some, that were built with the wall. Yeah, there's, there'll uh, be some places probably that'll be more isolationist than others. I don't think those yeah, communities but those were will built do by as corporations. well. No, no, yeah. I'm not. I'm talking about what will come. I think that what will come in in the land of anarchotopia, not that there is an anarchotopia or ever will be, but I think there will be people will people are going to try all kinds of things, man. I have no doubt that people are going to try yeah. the the walled off community approach. Good luck. No. Good luck with and that. I believe that fun. too. Yeah. It, it it's it's totally their prerogative, all that. Yeah. But at the same at the same time, 
you, you, but the way I look at it is it limits your market. Yes, exactly. It, it, um, it, all it across the board in all aspects of market. Yeah. Yes, because you're creating a regulation right there amongst the community already. Uh, the community may agree with it for a while, but after a while, I think they might get worn out by the the, the restrictions of it because it affects them. Yeah. You know, over time. I mean, walls are regulators. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and, and walls a, require. A door, a door is a regulator. Yeah, a wall is a regulator that, uh, you know, it's the, the broad, the, the, the longer it is, <laughs> the, the more re other regulators it will require to maintain it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are basically, you, when you, to me, when you advocate for closed borders and you advocate for a wall, I believe that you are you are you're giving false legitimacy to the state because the people that support that will look at the state and say see the state protects us see it's all good man wow although yeah they're not really protecting you but yeah no and good they're luck locking good, you up. good luck good luck keeping people out with a wall good luck no. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is another thing. Okay. Derek Bros is traveling right on his tour. This guy, Derek Bros. Um, and he's already been, he had to stop because he's already been pulled over by border patrol, like on the streets already like three times. And it's been taken, it's already taken up hours of his touring time, hours, just those three stops. So they had to stop it and, and take a rest and stay the night at a spot right now. So he um, was, uh, he was uh, checked out for uh, suspicion of Mexican or what? Uh, no, no, it's just uh, you get you, you go through the road and everybody stops, you know. Um, but it, oh, this, they have these stops, yeah, checkpoints. And what happens? These stops are like they go so far in. They say they can go up to like um, 100 miles up the border, right? That's pretty insane. But now, yeah, now think about this. This is not happening in Mexico. It's happening here. Right. Yeah, so I got if you. That. Yeah, so now now when you have promote border control, you're actually helping to promote a particular type of police state checkpoints on a lot of places. Not in Mexico. You're doing it here. So are we keeping people out or are we treating people like prisoners here? Well, huh? you have to do this because I don't know if you're aware of this, but Mexicans are stupider than us. And uh, stupid people don't want to be left alone and leave other people alone. We can't trust the stupid people. This is pretty much their <laughs> argument. This is pretty much oh their argument that yeah. the people across the border are inferior. They are they they, are, they have lower IQ. They they yeah. they will they will enable a a, a socialist state. They'll vote for the <laughs> socialists. And I, I, I'm of a mind that that might – I actually believe to a certain extent, not because they're stupid. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying they're stupid, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm basically speaking in plain language what the folks in the alt-right, I think the anarcho-alt-right, sound like to me when they talk. When I break yeah, it down talk, to, the, yeah. to the brutal language, what I hear, what they say, K-selected, what I hear is they stupid – <laughs> and they can't, yeah. they don't, I mean, like, you don't have to be brilliant. You really don't have to be brilliant to want to be left alone and to think, hey, man, I should leave people alone, too. You don't have to be a yeah. freaking intellectual to come to that understanding. And you I don't even understand yeah. that to come to that. It, 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 you don't even have to understand anything about that to actually arrive at that, that reality. Yeah. No. no, you don't. It's like, I think it's. It's kind of ingrained in us. So the other part of this is I, I personally do not believe that we are going to see liberty rise across the land by intellectually convincing millions of people that liberty is the answer. Now, I believe that we will convince a much smaller number of people that, that have decided to take the time – to think about such things, because most people they're they're thinking of 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 much much more immediate need type things. Uh, they're thinking of you know where's the next paycheck coming from, or you know Susie gonna get to the dance or whatever. There there's not a high percentage of people who are pondering 
Is there a better way for humans to govern themselves? It's just not a lot of people that are do that on average. Oh, so no, there's, yeah. so there's, there's a small group of people that we could reach, which is important because that's the small group of people that that will start to do, that will start to put to action the ideas mm. of liberty. And it is in putting to action the ideas of liberty that quote-unquote stupid people – uh, I mean, I'm not saying they're stupid again, but these quote unquote stupid people, these non case elected people, are going to look around and say, dude, look, man, look at the heck they're going over there, man. Dude, did you see how many freaking tomatoes Ty grew? What the heck, man? What the <laughs> right. How you do that? What the heck? Yeah. You guys, how are you guys taking care of yourselves and you're like not working <laughs> in the state system thingy? Dude, that's <laughs> awesome. I If I could avoid the state crap, man. I would totally do it. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then oh, right. and, and you'll win them over with action. And they don't need yeah, to be brilliant exactly. to, to 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 be won over. To me, it <laughs> seems like the the anarcho alt writers uh <laughs> they're they're kind of thinking that they can figure out all of the machinations of human action. I've yeah. never met anybody that can do that. And yeah, me, me neither. It, it's intense. It, it, um, they have to have um, it's so much explanation because they need that much ingrid, like that much to convince the people to create this um, regulation. Um, that's why it, it's, it, it's so much, you know, it's, it's a, it, and they're hardcore about it. Um, uh, um, and plus, and plus, they use the whole dumb thing, like saying, "Remember, you were saying, oh, because they're dumb, they they'll vote for socialism and everything." But in reality, I'll tell you something: the alt right knows what's in their side. They're just being manipulative, actually, when they're saying that to be truthful, because the alt right also have um, socialists or workers' parties in their side. But the thing with them, they're like identitarians, so they have more a unity under identitarianism um, compared I, to I like, heard, with I, liber libertarians or anarchists. Are different, where workers' parties or or, or 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 free marketers, you know. I I we heard, need to learn maybe for them to be to be stronger like that too, or be together. I heard Christopher Cantwell say this on his uh, mm -hmm. radical uh, whatever agenda crap. Uh, oh, radical whatever radical crap. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it radical crap on his radical crap show. I heard him literally say this. He said. Yeah, well, you know, some of them are national socialists, but truthfully, national socialists are better than commies. I'm like, what? Are you? Oh my god! National socialists are better than commies. No, they're both hideous. They're both very. And 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 when I say commies, yeah. I mean the state. You know. Yeah. I don't the want state communist Marxist. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. 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 That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's, there's there. There, there is. They're, go ahead. The, co the commies are very pro border. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. They're hardcore pro border. Seize the means and put up a wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the they do tend to produce the walls, man. Just, they do produce yeah. the walls. They are the workers. They, I they mean, look. The walls. Yeah, they work. <laughs> the workers. That's true. And um, uh, the the look at Berlin too. I mean, Berlin. What the communists? I mean, state the state is communist or state is socialist, right? I mean, a wall. They they created that, not the free market. Uh, even if it was free market status, uh, uh, you know, that well, that's cronyism. Not even the cronies do that. Think about that. That's weird, right? Not even the cronies do that. Uh, um, even but, the cronies understand it's better marketing. Yeah. <laughs> have a wall. It, yeah. They actually utilize it. They have. There's there's all these laws regarding border crossing and all this, but a lot of that is what is uh, it it drives the risk. Of the massive drug trade and the drug war. Without the border, your drugs become a lot cheaper. Oh, shit. Which is why the whole legalizing marijuana and, and the uh, medical marijuana farms and that kind of proliferation, it, it, it kind of trumped the wall. It did. See, it see, did. See what happens it when you take the wall. See what happens <gasps> when you take away all the cheap labor. See what happens yeah. to our markets. It's gonna. It's not gonna yeah, be good. It, and you know what's gonna happen? Our market. You take away all this cheaper cheap labor. Our prices are going to go up, and uh, we're not gonna be able to pay as much taxes. 
and the government's going to get some short tax revenues. Because what government's going to government's going to raise taxes on us. And we're we're going to have some trouble. Oh eating. yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, there could be some trouble. Uh, Bodie, that's not a problem for you. It's not a problem for me. It is for me though, because eating is a thing yeah, for need, which you need substantially I'm more food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, I. I just. I just like food. I enjoy the eating process, whereas you. I absolutely loathe the eating process. Right. He does. He's a very strange human being. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Ryan. I mean, we're not I talking like about for... legalization, Ryan. We're not favoring legalization. We're. we're... No, I don't. We favor oh. decriminalization yeah. or just like no state involvement at all. Uh, yeah. Right. Free market. Just there shouldn't even be a law about drugs. There shouldn't even be a law about. <laughs> A yeah, national right. order. Shouldn't be there shouldn't even be a law. There shouldn't yeah. even be a law. No. <laughs> yeah. Not to be a law. I mean, personally, I hate, I don't like borders. I don't understand the ludicrous nature of, of, of having to have a passport. Yeah, that's weird. I, what? Uh, you have to have multiple IDs now and shit because of borders like, or something. <laughs> Like, it, 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 when I traveled, I, I went, when I was in high school, we went on a class trip to, like, Greece and Italy or whatever. I hated showing my passport <laughs> because it was just like, oh, here's an American. Oh, Every, yeah. He hated us. Why Everybody did they, why did they hate Americans? Americans? Americans are the best. Because right? they were European. Everybody well, hates France, France is real bad. French people hate Americans, like, yeah. more. <laughs> We we poo poo foo foo caca like they don't, they don't like. like well, Americans, yeah. <laughs> they do. They they go they go over abroad and they do stuff. They do loud, obnoxious stuff. It's yeah, I don't, not all Americans. Take obviously, America. But. Basically, what Americans are really good at is taking America to the rest of the world. Right. And <laughs> yeah, it's fucking annoying. It's exactly what Americans here hate. If someone else comes and brings their culture and they're just nice about it or they build their own community and they just leave you alone. No, this is our country. you got to speak American. <laughs> it's, that's a weird thing, too. It's like, OK, like, speak American. What? <laughs> well, yeah, American. Jeez. It's a new language. <laughs> you don't speak Appalachia. I ain't going to. I ain't going to talk to you. Good. I don't want to <laughs> talk to you, you fucking fat. Shit, fuck you. Wow. Wait, what about you oh, don't speak hey, Louisiana? Why, why, why you gotta be harshing <laughs> on the Appalachians, man? That ain't right. Just the, no, no. I mean, where's Appalachia? Oh, like uh, North Florida? <laughs> no, it's yeah. like central, no. central eastern. I, I just don't. US. I don't like racists. I don't like um, languagists. I don't like ists. I don't like ex exclusive. Um, I'm a powerist. Bigot. I'm a powerist. Yeah. I don't like. Yeah, I don't ist. like you either. I know. And you know, I was. I know you don't. I was thinking I'm, like so I'm grumpy as shit today. You're, 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 you're a mean person, <laughs> but it's okay. I think you're still hurt. I think you're still recovering from the hurt. I'm still recovering from not being able to talk to Louis. That's it. Louis. Right there. Is it Louis or Louis? <laughs> Louis. 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 Right. Okay. And, and when you said earlier, you, uh, 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 human supremacists. I, you right. I go, but what if? We get aliens here, and there's like nice looking alien girls, even though they have green skin. I'm I'm switching <laughs> teams. I'm batting for the other team, man. I'm I'm like, I will from, suddenly identify as them. Dude, I'm a trans alienist, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. It, I was, I'll do what I got to do, man. What was that movie called? The Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah. Uh, you ever seen that one? I and saw he's the first uh, one. The... I didn't see the second one. Oh yeah, and he's with this green chick. You know? I am Groot. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that. I didn't. I don't think I saw the green chick. If I, I... the green girl. Green I re lady. I remember the green chick from Star Trek. She was kind of hot. Oh yeah. Yeah. When there was she <laughs> green or blue? I don't remember now. Either way. Which. Star Either way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say something there, and I realized no. Not no. saying it, not saying because I do plan on running for president someday. Someday this <laughs> footage could be used against me. Yeah. Oh damn. I'm not really oh. gonna run for president. Oh, I got a, I got a question. I haven't been watching the comments too much. You guys are gonna hate me. Uh, Andrew, do you do you perceive racists to be inherently violent? 
Um, oh. and no, I don't. Actually, I think most racists are um, complete fucking cowards, and they will probably back down immediately. Racists in numbers, on the other hand, um, tend to form violent mobs. I have a, a certain opinion about it. Um, Whether they're black uh, or white, I mean, we see it in both ways. Mm. Mm. It may not be mm, inherently. That's interesting. Uh, inherently, what's inherent? You don't do you inherit? Uh, so racism is aggressive. I don't think racism is aggressive. In I think it, it's a discerning nature, and it's it, it's like a um, it's a preference. It's a preference. okay. And there's nothing there's, there's nothing actually wrong with that. I just think you're an asshole. You just yeah. prefer you you prefer not to associate with people who prefer to only associate with a certain group of people that are of based on something called race. Well, well, preference. I, I look at preference very different because I've been noticing even people kind of want to conflate a lot the preference with racism. I I got I I thought about this a bunch. Um, the preference thing is like you have a preference. Like if you go out with somebody, right? You have a particular preference of what you look for. It's not, yeah. but you don't hate the other person that you do not prefer with racism. Now, there's a preference, right? Yep. But you really feel uncomfortable, even if you're not violent. You're fucking uncomfortable. There's something wrong. Mm -hmm. and you're not comfortable. You can't be happy or have a conversation, even if you do have a preference. So what is racism? We have to look at it. Look more to it. What then, is racism? And there, there is racism is in your, your like opinion, and then there's racist action. I, I don't think there is yeah, anyone. That's you. I, I think that racism is a symptom of a uh, multiplicity of uh, illnesses, I'm going to say. I have. A, that's what I'm thinking. That yeah. it's a certain type of illness because it creates a, such an uncomfortable said, feeling in these people. But I said honestly. a multiplicity of illnesses. Like there's there's more than one thing that causes someone to go down the racist path. It's it's not like oh, not like one thing that you could look at and say, "Yep, you're going to be a racist," or "No, you're not going to be a racist." Uh, I I I I think that uh, for some people. What, what, that wasn't there a study? Wasn't there a study that showed that you know, um, basically people with a certain type of brain damage or whatever are more likely to be racist? Oh, are you serious? I, I didn't say that, but I, I wouldn't. Doubt I gotta it. look for that. Wouldn't doubt it. I, I think it's, <laughs> like if there's a certain part of your brain that's affected, you're you, you, you're more likely to be a racist scumbag or something. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. I've I haven't yeah. like, I haven't seen I that. Just, I remember seeing the headline and going like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I yeah. Think, okay. Because I think it's a mental situation of, of some sorts. Uh, uh, okay. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll speak. Old. I'll speak as a. I don't. I don't know how old you are, Ty. Maybe you're my. I'm. I'm 49. So I'm 42. Okay. So I'm a little bit older, but we're in the ballpark. Uh, I'm, yeah. I grew up in a time, really in the 70s, where Absolutely. Most of the stuff that I saw around me was negative reinforcement of anyone that wasn't white. Positive reinforcement generally of people who were white. The white people were in all the best positions and all the best roles. Yeah. And, and uh, That's right. I, 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 didn't, I didn't think intellectually. I never thought, oh, you know, other races, they're inferior to the white race. I'm part of the white race. But but I went through a process where I had to pretty much deprogram myself to not look at people in a certain light because I had, I mean, as a kid growing up, you don't even think about it. It's just like it is. Yeah. It just is. So what do I, I see? I see, I see blacks who are, who are drug dealers and whites who are doctors and, and Mexicans <laughs> who are cleaning our, our toilets. That's what I see That's in the, the 70s. Yeah. That's what I see in the <laughs> yeah. media oh, overwhelmingly in the 70s. Yeah. And I was, you know, I, I really, that was a formative period of time for me. So I think that there are some They won't people, show the bad white neighborhoods. <laughs> no. I, I think there are some people like me that you grew up, you, you, you would, and, and I don't believe that, I don't believe people are always responsible for their actions. So I'm not giving anybody a pass here. But you grew up in this, in this, 
this milieu where whites were better than everybody else. And it's, it's e even with your best effort, it is hard to untrain your mind. It took me uh, a while to, to not look at someone who, you know, whether they were black or Hispanic or, 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 Hey, if they were white, but they were like less white, you know, whatever. <laughs> white with it, it, you, 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 right. right, exactly. White with dreadlocks. You, you, you don't even think about it. You're not trying to be a racist. You're not trying to think in terms of race. It's just like, it's like a Pavlovian conditioning that has occurred that when you see something that looks a certain way, your body and mind automatically reacts. And you have to un intentionally, well, at least I did, I had to intentionally train myself to to step out of it and it it, it, I, it wasn't terribly easy now the people who grew up in the 80s little less conditioning <laughs> the yeah, people yeah. who grew up in the 90s even less conditioning there's a lot less of that type of but in the 70s dude oh i see yeah in the 70s i mean ty you're you kind of missed a little bit you're seven yeah, years I so you missed it but i mean i'm I born mean, 68 i only did the 80s <laughs> I, I mean i was born in 68 so and in those formative years, as a little kid watching the TV, the kids' cartoons, and the, you know, I watched Starsky and Hutch and SWAT and FBI, and I mean, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. the the pop culture around me told me uh, this image means this, and that wasn't even, and you don't even think it as a kid. You're not thinking of it in terms of race. It's just an image, and images yeah. become like. They become thoughts. And AE says, no, the human brain is wired to categorize and generalize its surroundings. Uh, and it really, ha and uh, John Smith says it has to do, it has to be an active choice and it really has to do with your location too. And I, 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 I agree with, mm. uh, I agree with John and I, I, I agree with AE, but to a certain extent, AE the human brain is wired to categorize and generalize its surroundings, but you have more control over your brain than you think you do. Yes, yes. You don't have to be okay. passive. You can yeah. you can rewire your brain to reflect what you believe intellectually. And very, very and, uh, easily. Yeah, very well, I won't say uh, it's I easy. Had, but. I actually had a really weird experience with uh my understanding of race and and even the civil rights movement, all that. When I was in third grade in a Catholic school, like we, we had maybe do we even have any 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 black kids? Uh, I feel like a dick because I don't remember. But I remember sitting there and we were learning about Martin Luther King Jr. And one of my buddies, uh, his his dad was from Guatemala. Uh, and but he he looks at he just we, we got through the whole thing he looks at me and he goes wow if it weren't for martin martin luther king you wouldn't be sitting in class with me i'm like i'm sitting there going like because you're you're for, foreign and he's like oh no, because you're black i'm like what he's like i thought you were black i'm like what, what I must have been extra tan or whatever, but like just as kids, oh, wow. we still hadn't discerned. We it, like it wasn't even something talked about. It wasn't even something really considered until we started learning about it. Mm, right. Yes. Yes. Right. Exactly. Until you started you know, you're, learning you're not, about you it. You can't be. You're not born a racist. No, you're not. No, you're taught. Mm hmm. You learn it from your environment. And it's just a very the weird thing. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it always, I, by the way, I'm not saying that I was a racist. What I'm saying is that I right. I thought well, that, I yeah. thought unconsciously, not even not even trying to, I thought unconsciously in terms of race. It was you know, again, it was like you've created images and you've put certain meaning to those images that I haven't actualized like I haven't thought about it. I haven't taken a critical approach to why do I see this image and think this? Right. And w but when you start to do that, when you start to deconstruct, you start to figure out that you don't really have a reason for it. You were kind of that image, that, that uh, association with that image was created for you. And now, I mean, just to, just to bring this back to borders, 
Yeah. It's kind of, that's kind of a border in your mind. There, wow, yeah. Um, because you're discerning, you're separating, you're dividing, and and there's 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 some practicality to that. But if you look at where borders are constructed, I don't just mean border walls. I mean like look at New York City, where the highways were drawn, that cut off whole neighborhoods blew them apart and divided them based on economics, which was really racism. Um, oh, wow. Isolated whole cultural groups. And these decisions were made <laughs> with this in mind. Oh, wow. It's a combination of two it's little a combination things. Of things. It's a manifestation of the mental barriers. Aha. Ha. Right. Yeah. 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 So borders don't actually exist. Walls do. Borders don't actually exist. Highways do. If you want to destroy um, a community, run a highway through it. Wow. Well, yeah, because the highway doesn't stop. The highway doesn't no. stop. You know what they should, if they really, instead of building a wall <laughs> on the border, they should build a highway. Oh shit! An eight-lane like, highway get from Arizona to to An Florida from here. <laughs> that'll keep that. That will cut down on it substantially. That will, yeah. Oh. And it'll bring some trade to the area. Damn. You get some. And it'll bring some trade. You and get then, some some no. exit uh, towns start to emerge. Who needs walls when you can just run them over? Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's. Oh no! Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm yeah I'm masterminding for them. I'm a horrible person. For, but oh man, <laughs> the the the, <laughs> the so-called border debate. It seems to be, and I'm actually I'm 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 I want to understand the folks that are championing this this closed border thing mm. more. Uh, so the because and I I can't say that I fully understand what they're saying. I, I can't say. And 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 they don't all speak with one voice, but but it does seem like, from what I'm seeing so far, it's all centered around property rights. It's like all the, they've identified this one aspect of humanity, and they've basically given it primal order uh, above all else. It's property rights. Hey, man, you know what we have to do? That's the, that's the main recent if, argument. Those property rights compared to before. Right. Know. We we have to we have to settle this uh, uh, in terms of property rights. So you know their argument about the you know the taxpayers who've been stolen from. We have ahead. a correction. Okay. There, there is a highway that runs along the southern border. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's called the Eight. Huh. And no, it has the not helped. Eight. Well, what okay. do you mean by helped, A.E.? What is helped? Yeah, what is helped? What do you mean by helped? Ooh, somebody's racist. It's A.E. He's a racist. <laughs> A.C. Yeah. A.E. Fish. He's A.E. Yeah, Fish because his funny. last name is Salmon, a so it's Fish. A. E. Salmon. Fish. A.E. E. Fish. A.E. Salmon. Um, a. E. Fish. A.E. Fish. A.E. So, fish. Um, a. Fish. A. Fish! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's your name now. Good, good job. So the, the oh, it has saying that immigration. So you're saying the border argument they've been having lately is about property. From what rights. I see, it's primarily about property rights. Uh, well, actually, it's about two things. I'm sorry, it's about property rights. So the two things are property rights, and if taxation is theft, then you have to be for closed borders because if you're not for closed borders, then you're advocating for more theft. So yep. oh my God. it's that. <laughs> uh, so so these two so, oh. these two aspects of 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 the reality of what it means to be human, the taxation is theft and the property rights. That that's pretty much. We just have to decide it based on <laughs> these two things. Let's not talk about our fundamental belief in the rights of it uh, or what. Well, I'll say rights. I don't necessarily like that word, but let's just say the fundamental um, belief in the rights of individuals to have the greatest opportunity to, you know, self determination. Uh, let's not let's cancel that part out. Let's not consider that. Let's just base this on: Am I being good? Uh, do, do, is it possible that if these people come in that? Uh, I'm I'm going to lose money in the deal. 
No. And that's just, uh, well, that's the that's the argument. They're going to be a tax liability. There's going to be they're going to uh, have to raise taxes to take care no. of these moochers. Now taxes don't get good, raised. Okay, that let's way. just <laughs> what, good good luck finding one study. You know, finding more than one study. Yeah, uh, uh, that 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 backs up your claim that there'll be a tax liability because you'll see a study over here that says, yeah, no. they're a total tax liability. Then you see a study over here that says, no, no, that's not true. And it's you know because the you know the the uh, statistics are the devil's playground. Fact. The thing is, they're they're kind of arguing for the state when they say that. I they believe go, oh, it's robbery because they see a particular class of people or a circle of people that know that is robbery. But the thing is, they're advocating for the state when they say that um, because in reality, taxes don't get raised because of immigrants or, or any of these things. Taxes get raised because politicians feel like they need to raise them, whether it's for war or any kind of concept. And plus, if you put a wall, a border, right, there's still going to be tax being raised. Watch because it's a status. That's the status paradigm. Because no matter what, they got no matter a, what, they got a hole they could never fill, dude. No matter what, they're never gonna fill that hole. That hole no, is you. No, never. So the argument for immigrants and taxation is very stupid. To be real, so the thing is, is about to argue about to be anti-status and to learn how to be anti-status or to be to learn the agora or to go self-sufficient, because that's the way you abolish. The state and the thievery of taxation. That's, that's real. How you, that's actually how you abolish property. Hey, hey, Ryan, Mick, <laughs> Ryan, Mac, Mick, Ryan. Do you say Mick or Mac or how do you want to say it? He says. Yeah, start, you know. He says, but y'all don't believe property is theft in regards to borders, prude home, private, personal property, do you? I I kind of do. No. Bodie, Bodie does. But what, the, what? How's he defining property? I, I define property by what I work on, my labor, my garden. Yeah, I, I protect I, it. That's mine. Yeah. I I I define property as a preferential uh, standard um, that that fits within my framework of preference to uh, give people the Ooh. best opportunity to have self determination. I believe that property standards, not property rights, property standards are useful to that perpetuation and not recognizing someone's property is going to interfere with uh, our ability to uh, self-determine our lives. We won't be able to, we won't be able to build a castle, so to speak. We won't be able to have our little half acre. And I, I want, I want that. I prefer that. So I prefer, since oh, yeah, I prefer yeah. it, I'm for property standards. I don't have an okay. objective reason for property. I'm gonna I wanna knock out this next comment okay. from from Don. Ooh, he goes, Don. I disagree. It's about people on one side of the wall are poor. Very untrue. And want better opportunities than their country is giving them. Countries don't give opportunities. No. Economically, security and health care. Also untrue because they get treated like shit over here. Um <laughs> The people on the other side are trying to protect their standard of living. No, actually, their, their of, standard of living comes from those people across the border already. They've yeah, helped them have that standard of living. Mutual exchange. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right or wrong, he, that's what he believes is going on. I just don't. I don't see it that way at all. Well, I I do believe that there are that the American market has more opportunities than the Mexican market, than the El Salvadoran market. So in those terms, I think he's right. It, it, it depends on the market. It depends. The Mexican on market in, is opening in up. General, getting bigger. In, in general, I'm talking about in general, but a lot of these border towns are fucking booming. Yeah. Yeah. Go to, go to some towns in, in North Carolina. That's not a market that you want to go to. There's, no, there's man. nothing there, man. Go, there's, go, go to West Mexico Virginia. city. Right. Go yeah, to Ohio. Right. Not all parts of Ohio, but well, almost we all of the up in Ohio is is subsidized, mm. and we're subsidized. We're subsidized. <laughs> we are subsidized by cheap, cheap, cheap labor. Oh God, so, so, AE, AE, get, come on! Countries take away opportunities. Ask a Cuban. Uh, ask a Cuban. No, no it wasn't a co individuals took away opportunity. Individuals with gun individuals with orders and individuals with guns took away opportunities. Not quote unquote countries. Countries don't exist. Only individuals Country. act. Yes, exactly. Exactly. 
Um, so then um, Ryan also asked, so is segregation logical? Voluntary segregation, I suppose. I don't think it's lot. I mean, I think it's inevitable. I don't, I don't think it's inevitable. I think I, I, I think it, it'll happen. I don't. I mean, I think certain, certain I think groups people will segregate themselves, but voluntary segregation doesn't make sense in itself. Do you know? You want to know what the Rocky Mountains are? A massive segregator. You know what the Mississippi River is? A massive oh, segregator. There's geographic segregations. There is geographic segregation. Natural actually. segregations. <laughs> Uh, and that's how a lot of that's how certain cultures evolve. They're isolated. Oh, you're they right. To like Tibet, Tibet's that way. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I, but in terms of, um, there should never be forced segregation. But no. segregation, voluntarily, so is just free association. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Free association, voluntary segregation. Oh, I guess that's for your own decision, basically. I was um, I don't, complaining I, the term segregation with coercion in a way. I don't, a I don't, That's why I got confused. <laughs> I don't think it's logical or illogical. I think it's not a logical matter. It's a preferential matter. And so, yeah, yeah. there will be yeah. segre segregation will occur. Um, so, I mean, and actually when you said segregation, I was totally locked into the racial segregation element of it. But re segregation yeah, I was kind in of general, in my head. yeah, yeah. Right. But segregation is in general is going to happen. It's always, I, it always I, does. I, I advocate for awareness of the unsegregated container, but that's mm -hmm. just me. Okay, so yeah. AE, come on, guy. If you don't believe that countries can take away opportunities, then you are tacitly agreeing with statism. On whose authority? On what does that mean? I I know I I I believe that individuals who use the myth of 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 country to legitimize coercive action against yeah. other individuals that is very real. Hey, I yeah, believe the Castro that. coercive enterprise. Castro yeah, is yeah. dead, and Cubans are still living in shitholes. Well then, maybe they should stop living in shitholes. Yeah, because the next person said, "Yep, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna choose to continue this." And the and then the, the you know the 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 cops and the military and the goons who were 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 doing the physical enforcement. Yeah, they died. And the next generation of dudes and dudettes said, "Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna do it too, man. I'm gonna hey, participate." Hey, very book smart. So EA, what's his name? EA. Um, so what did he say about the Cubans in the first comment um, about that? He's uh, he's basically saying that. Uh, no, no, that but it, 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 the the, 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 the AE that that doesn't mean that that uh, it's still not individuals that chose to continue Castro's regime. A, a regime, a country, a yeah, law, there is, a system, yeah. is simply the aggregate sum of individual action that's it it always is if you want to deny reality and logic go ahead but that's right this actually is where reality and logic come into play when yeah when you when you break it down a e no 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 idea never did a thing no uh no law ever did a thing the no, only no. Uh, the only the only people the only the only action that was taken was by individuals uh, or, I don't know, a natural phenomenon. You know, a wind blew a rock into a wind, uh, window, whatever. Oh, shit. But, <laughs> but, but, but no thought, no idea uh, ever actually did a thing. Individuals use thoughts and ideas to, to, to give themselves more comfort to make a decision. Whether it's an unpleasant or a pleasant decision, yeah. so so I choose yeah, yeah, to yeah. live at gunpoint. Is their fault at this point? I don't get that. I choose. I chose to live at gunpoint. Is their fault? I don't. I don't get that, Don. Okay. Yeah. I, I, okay. Now the thing with Cuba, I, I understand Cuba in a certain way. Um, now the thing with Cuba. Part of the people don't re people don't really choose to live that way, but they choose to live that way to be peaceful because there is a gun on their head, like anywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, and, well, and it, it is their choice to. Here's another thing about well, it, wait, it, it is their choice. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Bodhi. You want bring her there's in? There's a there's a huge thing about Cuba that is different than anywhere that, that is different than most places. It's the same problem with uh, okay, it's an island. Yeah. Very limited resources locally. 
you're subject to massive tariffs and sanctions so that the one with the ruling power, the individuals who, who exact this power, have yeah. way more control. Yeah, they have been – they invest. Over more natural needs. Thereby, it's a lot easier to get compliance. Mm. Mm -hmm. the, the geographic – Yeah, and then also – Enhances – individual segregation it, it 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 enhances all of that because your choices become limited outside yeah, of even also i have an ocean as a border between the other countries too so you have to swim out or boat out if you wanted to right. but uh, um but but uh, there's a thing with cuba okay even there's people that don't want to leave right and want to change the situation there okay like just recently, I think a libertarian just got locked up in Cuba. Right. right yeah. Right. Okay. Actually, he, uh, he got locked up. It may may have been a little roughed up. Uh, he's 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 out again, I think. But yeah, don't know where that's going. It's not good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. And there's a lot of libertarians in Cuba. Okay, but spread out. So now, since this happened, they're spreading some message to a lot of Cubans there. So there is a thing going over there. And then in reality. Most people don't want to leave their own country. The reason why they may leave because it might be intense because of war or some very intense abuse. And people have a right to move around to leave from trouble naturally, whether it's a storm or this or that, whatever. Um, but in Cuba, people don't really want to leave Cuba. Cubans are kind of proud people too. They, the pe people right. that left, they're, they're attached the to their land. They, they want... Well, I'm assuming that you're saying they want they want the the practices uh, that are uh, currently followed by uh, those with guns to stop. Yes, to stop, and, and they want to take control of their own stuff. That's why they're attracted to libertarianism even more than republicanism now these days with some Cubans in, in Cuba because um, uh, uh, it gives a deeper re, uh, a deeper re, uh, aspect of of uh, life or living and and exchange with each other than other systems um, but yeah they want to stay in Cuba be proud of Cuba and their mountains you know and the farms there and be free okay uh, uh, they people don't want to leave their countries to come here and stuff people do look for better opportunities people look for self-interest and it's very very natural very natural um you know uh, uh cubans coming here it's not because they came here by choice because they're very proud people and that's yeah. one thing i can say about it you see what i'm saying and people have all these perspectives without understanding cuban the reason why i say this because i am cuban <laughs> so i know these things they're very proud people they don't want to be gone from cuba okay yeah <laughs> and they'll probably say they're Cuban, and if Cuba was free, guess what? They'll go to Cuba because it's the love, their love, it's their their love, their land. That's just how it goes. I I feel that way about Pennsylvania, not the state, the land. <laughs> yeah, I love the I, uh, I, I live yeah. in Pennsylvania, and I I love this land. I love the Shire, man. And you love the Shire, you know. Uh, I'm attached to this land. Uh, I, I, I'm and I'm okay with being attached to this land. I I would not want to, yeah, leave this land. If I didn't yeah. have to. That's how. It, yeah, that's how it is. Even now, even that we we see this, even like with Syrians, they say with Syria, people freak out on Syrians a lot now. Oh, Syrians going to Europe. Syrians coming to America. Syrians, Syrians, Syrians. Syrians don't want to leave Syria either. Do you know that? No. Talk to a lot of Syrians. They yeah, yes, Jer leave. Jersey can suck it. I agree, Ryan. They they don't quite like that. You know, their towns keep getting blown up. No, no. That's, that's a bummer. It's like crazy. That's a bummer. Why did you leave? I didn't have anywhere to go. <laughs> no. Yeah. What the fuck? There was a big hole. In... Yeah. There was big gets... holes in the middle of the street. Shit. <laughs> Don, stop singing socialist song. This land is your land. My land. This land is your land. You're. Oh, calm. you are so You're socialist. You're freaking commie, Don. Freaking oh, calm. Don's a commie. Don, Don, and Don and AE should get together. Yeah, a, yeah I'm a <laughs> hobbit. I'm a fucking hobbit. I'm from the Shire. That that that's a song. This land is your <laughs> nice. land. That was intentionally written to to nudge Americans away from their 
more individualist thinking towards collectivist thinking, Don. You're a terrible human being, Don. You should apologize. You should apologize for being human. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, go, go, back go, buy my, go buy my shirt. What, Hidden Kami? <laughs> go get it. Yeah, Don, if you haven't yet, go get a Hidden Kami shirt. Don, Don needs the uh, Hidden Kami yeah. shirt. So he so does. does AE. AE definitely needs you uh, both should rep my you both should rep my shirts. I actually I told you, Bodie, <laughs> I, I, I drop that link in regularly. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I get the hidden commie link and I say, like, hey, this shirt that's actually so, what triggered John Carter to finally block me. I shared yep. a link to your hidden I said, John, it sounds like you need this. And he's like, helicopter ride. That was it. I got a helicopter oh, ride. No. Oh, I got a helicopter shirt too, if you want it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, oh, yeah. The helicopter <laughs> it's, it's, it just says live by the chopper, die by the chopper. I know. I know the guy I came up with. The Agora, the Agora has everything. <laughs> the Agora has everything. The Agora does if have you, everything. If you want a shirt that's going to piss someone off, just buy Don, one of them. Don says he steals your shirts yeah. from other people. But it's fucking like a commie would. I steal your shirt <laughs> from other people? Yeah, commies have no respect I... for property. Yeah, they, you have no respect for property. You are a freaking commie. Talk, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don is, Don is a hidden commie. Yeah, he that's, wants that's, 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 that's why he, he swings so hard, you know, in his state von state face, minarchist state von state face ways. He swings so hard because he's like, you know, it's like the, the gay guy that's dating like, uh, you know, eight girls a week. That, that's Don. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gay. Look, I got a girlfriend. Look, look. <laughs> That's Don. That's Don. <laughs> wow. I did That's that. Brutal. I did that. That's I probably can't run for president now after that. Oh, after shit. That. <laughs> oh, here we go. AE gets it. Property is an illusion like borders. It's a useful oh. one, though. For me, it's a useful one. He's finally Just there. Just claim what you worked on. Claim you what you you worked on and, and protect that. That's your interest. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You got you got to you got to sometimes fucking put your fists up and, and defend your shit otherwise it's not yours anymore. Don doesn't even yeah, have a exactly. girlfriend right now. <laughs> yeah, that hey hey by the way you guys if anybody's coming to Midwest Peace Liberty and Li Peace and Liberty Fest I am going to be giving a speech at 1 o'clock on Sunday the whatever 20 whatever. I'll, I'll be at 2 o'clock. And Bodie's doing one at 2. I'm going to be talking about power. And Bodhi's going to be talking about the means of production. Basically. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's, that's... <laughs> I'm going to talk about seizing the means. Yeah. The one-two punch. Yes. It's going to be interesting <laughs> because I'm taking it from the from the self-employment standpoint. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, okay. I'm interested to hear that. I've been actually practicing my speech. No, I haven't. I'm really, I'm really interested to start writing my speech. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to write my speech. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm, I'm, I am going to have an outline. I'm going to have an outline. That's it. I can't. I have like, I have like two weeks to, to pull a speech out of my ass. I actually have already been working on what about outline. Like bullet I have, points I have a pretty, stuff. I, I don't what... have a good ending to my speech yet, but I have a pretty good outline all the way up until like how I'm going to tie it all together. I haven't figured that out yet. I was thinking I was going to talk about the hyphens in anarchy, and now yeah. I don't think I'm going to. I might even invite you on stage. I'll be filming you, so that'll be weird. Uh, uh, <laughs> unless we set up a tripod. I have tripods. I have tripods. Oh, yeah, tripods. I have tripods. I have tripods. No, I have tripods, too. We have, I have tripods. I have tripods. <laughs> I they also... Hey, hey, I also got a... I, I, I have, have to... I'd see how it works. I do have a wireless microphone that you hook up to your computer, you know, with the... <gasps> I got one of those. So, wow, you got it with the little dongle. With the what? The dongle. I don't know what the dongle is. I don't know. I, I can't remember what dongles the, the are. The other part of the wireless thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I got that. That's pretty cool. I haven't tried it yet. I have to figure out how it works. But I have that, and I also have... I've got, I got Wi-Fi in a little box to carry with me. So that means... So that means you'll have two mics in front of you, one for the, the stage and, or and, what, the, and the one for the at, YouTubes. And one for the, the recording. Yeah, for the tubes. <laughs> yeah, the wireless one. Yep, for the YouTubes, yep. And it, yeah. it's one of those that pins to you, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. It's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to do this right, man. We're going to do this right. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing a bunch of people that I've never met in person. Bodhi's going to nice, be sleeping yes. on my couch. 
two nights, uh, Friday night or Thursday night and, and Monday night. I'm assuming you're going to sleep in my couch Monday night. You're, when we get back, you're going to want to stay Monday night. Probably, yeah, if you really want to go visit. Dude, do you, you want to drive 10 hours and then drive five more hours? No. Yeah. Well, maybe. It depends how I feel. Well, it depends on how you feel, but the, the door's open for you to stay the, up, Monday night. Thank you. Yeah. If I'm all if I'm all wigged out and like caffeinated and if by the end of the week (laughs) we if by the end of the experience you and I are like, you know, I will I will rip you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that could happen. You never know. It could happen. We might have to build a divide. We might have have to to build build a border. We might need a border. A Bodie, a, Bo- a Bodie Gordon border. Uh, 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 I prefer Gordon Bodie border. But <laughs> Bodie Gordon. Well, wow. I think actually. <laughs> gonna have to settle this. I think I think that's uh, I think the division has started. <laughs> oh, division has begun. <laughs> I'm also German, by the way. What are you? Uh, oh, nice. I'm French Canadian. There's an Sir- issue there right away. There's an issue yeah. there. I, I've actually I've kicked all of your people's butts already. So through through collectivists right. collectively. I'm, I've accomplished well, what I'm, my German brethren have accomplished. I don't want to go over the losses. I don't want to go over the losses. I said Cuban, but in reality, it's mainly Basque. Basque, my family's Basque, my grandparents. So you're but, a Cuban you know, poser is what you're Like saying. recent. You're not even really. Yeah, kind of. We're like a one generation Cuba and we're Basque and African mainly. Oh, Basque is. Yeah, they're, they're a unique group. They don't quite fit into... <laughs> Uh, mold of uh, no. the genetically they just don't fit in which is cool no. them in the is it the barbers or the berbers or whatever the berbers. whatever they are yeah they're they're another group that doesn't doesn't fit in you have uh, uh blonde haired oh, yeah. blue eyed native africans they exist wow. Ooh. and they're not oh, european the berbers. yeah they're not european no so, <laughs> wow! Life is stranger than you people think it is. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I, 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 well, I, think, I think, I think we're wrapping this. What do you guys think about wrapping? Yeah, I think we're like, wrapping this we're, up. Uh, I gotta go to bed. But we're, we're, oh, you get up uh, early yeah. tomorrow, there, laddie. Yeah, got, I get up early every day. What are you doing? Ooh, I, I don't remember. You getting some work done? You, you yeah, I've been getting work right? done. You, yeah. Well, I just don't talk about it much because it's really boring. Meh, meh. Eh, eh, eh. I do real work. You see what I do? I do a lot of stuff. You do a lot of stuff. I'm building I'm an there. empire. I'm, I'm building an empire. There's, man. Yeah, we got. We got. Well, let's let's wrap this. Up. As always, okay. thank you for watching. Just open action. With Tyagananda. Open action. Ty- Paul Gordon. Tyagananda Suarez. Okay. You're the bouncy yeah. stuff. I am still the bouncy, by the way. I, I haven't reneged on that deal at all. Yeah. Can I say reneged now, or is that now inappropriate? I don't know. That might be racist. Probably. Good night. That's <laughs> funny. Uh, Melissa said. Sue, you arrived just in time to say goodbye. 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 Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. We'll see you the next time. We'll see you. Whenever yeah. that is. <laughs>